This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Let's go to the post office and see if I have any mail. Here we are. Let's go see if there's anything in there for me. All right, now that I'm back in the studio, let's see what I got in the mail. I got two packages. Let's just get right into it. First one is from Craig in Franklinton, North Carolina. It's got some stickers on it. Carolina Bass Co. Let's see what we got. Alex, huge fans of the show. Thought you might enjoy these. Have a great holiday season. Tight Lines, Carolina Bass Co. Well, this looks like it's from a bait company. I don't typically promote bait companies when they send stuff to the show, but we are going to just take a look at it since they went through the trouble. First item here is some hand-poured swim baits. Those look to be about three and a half inch swim baits in pearl. Got some swag here, some business cards and stickers. Here we have a Carolina Bass Co. lipless crankbait. This one's kind of interesting. Smaller. It's a smaller crankbait here. This will match some of the thread fin shad and stuff like that around here. Pretty cool. Here we have a package of worms. These look like trick worms. Straight tail worms here for drop shots and shaky heads and stuff like that. Good color. These look good. We also got a package of Pit Boss style craw baits here. These are like flipping baits. Kind of like a copper penny and brown. Those look pretty cool. And another package of craws, same kind of deal here. Except these are kind of a June bug or a purple and green color. Good looking stuff. Unfortunately, the bass aren't really biting right now. But I might be able to get a bite on the crankbait or even these small swim baits. Thanks to Carolina Bass Co. for sending these in. Let's see what else we got. This box is from Ed in Sacramento, California. Uh-oh, mystery tackle box. Hopefully that's not what's inside. All right, we got a note here. It says, hey, Alex, my wife and I enjoy your videos. A buddy gave me a huge bag of old 80s lures, so I thought I'd send some for your collection. They're very 80s, huh? P.S. My wife's favorite phrase is keep it realistic. Drives me nuts. Thanks, Ed. Well, Ed, thanks for sending these into the show. And keep it realistic. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. All right, we have a Killer Baits Delicate Action Super Strong Crankbait. This is pretty retro right here. Look at that stickering on the side. It's like that prism sticker and the shape of this thing. You don't get much more retro than that. The super strong premium quality lure you are holding has been designed to hook and hold the largest known species of any fighting game fish. 
Now that is a bold claim. Lifetime guarantee. You think they're still in business? I don't know about that, but it is a cool looking lure. Got a couple more here. Here's another Killer Baits Super Strong with Eagle Claw Hooks. Check it out. Once again, it has that kind of prism sticker on the side. Fun artwork on the back with tips about it. It will not scrape off on rocks or tackle. Extra strong hardware, reinforced bottom rail, etc., etc. So this is the Killer Shiner dives to six feet. It's pretty cool. I love the look of this thing. One more, same kind of thing. This one is a little bit different. It doesn't have that prism sticker on the side. Just kind of a flat blue. It's kind of hard to see. It's got a little tiny bearing up in the front there by the eyelet where you tie it on. Anyway, pretty cool lures here. These are definitely the kind of thing I like to collect. Cool old vintage baits. I have never seen these before, so this is a great thing to send in. I really appreciate it. Thanks again to Ed for sending these in. I will definitely add them to the collection. Now let's move on to trivia. Trivia, trivia, trivia. Well, the last question was something like, which famous YouTuber came fishing with me at my lake all day and couldn't even catch one fish? Well, I dare not speak his name, but 91 people got the correct answer. And if you don't know that answer, maybe Bro Manson could tell you. Anyway, 91 people got it right. Let's see what was up for grabs. All right, up for grabs is a Storm Wiggle Wart, some Z-Man Ned Rig Elaztec TRD Hogs, a package of Powerbait Max Scent the General, this is like a Senko bait, and finally a package of Gulp Minnows. Good all around, all year long bait right here. And the winner is... Aaron Neckpitugs. Neck, neck pit. Oh my god, I don't know how to say your name, but you won. Aaron. Let me try again. Aaron Naptigus. Napitugs. I don't know how to say that, but you won. Congratulations. All you need to do is get me that shipping information. Send me a message, realisticfishing at gmail.com. You can also get a hold of me on Facebook, Instagram, and even Twitter. Links down below. Congratulations again, Aaron Neck to something. Since that round of trivia is over, let's think of a new question. All right, I got it. What lure did I catch my first bass on? On purpose. If you know which lure I caught my first bass on, go to realisticfishing.com, click on the trivia tab, type your answer in, and the entry form will appear if you have the right answer. Let's see what's up for grabs on the new question. We'll do a Bomber Model A crankbait. We'll do a Booyah Pad Crasher. Let me go to the other side. I'm going to get something else. And we'll throw in a package of KVD Ochos. This is like a Senko stick bait. So, Ochos. Booyah Pad Crasher, 
Bomber Model A. What lure did I catch my first bass on? Good luck to everyone who plays, and thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.